as always, with his shopping cart ready to do battle. And those weapons in his cart, as far as I know, aren't used to collecting dust. I don't know if he's ready for a guy like Bandito. Hold on. Before we start this horrible beating, I can't help but notice that while I have the greatest female ever to perform in this business at ringside with me, this homeless moron has a trash can full of garbage out there that he thinks he's gonna beat me up with. I think why I don't have my own insurance policy at ringside. And here he comes right now, the one and only, my best friend, the franchise, Shane Douglas. The fans were curious to see just how much of a role Shane Douglas would play in Chris Candido's match. Candido quickly controlled the match with technical wrestling. But then, Jimmy quickly countered with his hardcore brawling style. The action spilled out of the ring. And as you can see, Chris Candido is showing homeless Jimmy that he can be hardcore just as bad. Comeback, but then Candido quickly regained control. And then Chris Candido put on his patented high vertical suplex. And I tell you something, man, I could have cooked 10 pots of arroz con pollo in the whole time he was up in the air, man. Pile driver, but when he went for another one, Jimmy countered and was back in the match. The match goes to the stage, but Candido finds a table with Jimmy's name all over it. Candido looked to the franchise for some assistance, but it backfired. Douglas, however, quickly redeemed himself by tossing Candido a length of chain and a loaded fist to the head, put Jimmy down for the count. And the winner of the match, Chris Candido! What the hell happened? Unbelievable. All the low down dirty. Jimmy's hopes crushed and XPW officials in dismay. The XPW officials are not happy at all. <laughs> 